Hello, my name is Rian Blom with Avaya Global Support Services. This video is about Avaya Aura Application Enablement Services Administering Certificates. By default, AES use a server certificate which is signed by the Avaya Product Certificate Authority. Customers can also use certificates issued by a trusted in-house or third-party certificate authority. For detailed information on AES Certificate Administration, see documents listed below. Avaya Aura Application Enablement Services Administration and Maintenance Guide and the Avaya Aura Application Enablement Services Implementation Guide for Microsoft Office LCS 2005, OCS 2007 or LINK 2010. These documents are available from support.avaya.com. If you are administering a server that supports TSAPI, JTAPI, CVLAN or DMCC applications and these applications rely on the default certificate provided by Avaya, then the OAM certificate management pages do not apply to your configuration. If you use the AE Services implementation for Microsoft LCS, OCS or LINK, the AES certificate management pages do apply to you. The certificate management pages on AES provide you with the ability to manage the following types of certificates. Service certificate. The service certificate is a digital form of identification for a web server. Service certificates are issued by a certificate authority. And trusted certificate. The trusted certificate refers to the certificate authority's certificate. The trusted certificate is a digital form of identification for the certificate authority. Let's take a brief look at the procedure overview for administering certificates. The first step is to download the CA certificate or trusted certificate from the certificate authority and install it on the AES. The second step is to request a service certificate from the certificate authority and the third step is to download the service certificate that has been issued to the AES and install it on the AES server. When you initially log into the AES server through a browser page, you will see that you receive a certificate warning. When you view the certificate details, you can see that this certificate has been issued to AE Services Management Console. This is the default Avaya product certificate. After we have updated the certificates on AES, we will come back to this section and show you that the AES web server is using the updated certificate. Continue to log into the AES server. On the initial landing page, you will see that there is a warning stating that this AE services server is using a default installed server certificate. Default installed certificates should not be used in a production environment. It is highly recommended to replace all default installed certificates. To perform step 1 in this procedure, click on Security, then Certificate Management, then CA Trusted Certificates. This will load the CA Trusted Certificate page. From here you can see the default Avaya product certificates. If you have been provided direct access to your company's Trusted Certificate Authority, then you can download a CA certificate directly from there. The steps shown here follows the documented procedure for obtaining a Microsoft-based Trusted Certificate. Once the trusted certificate has been saved, you need to open it with a text editor and edit the beginning and the end of the text field by replacing the certificate word with PKCS7. Again, this is as instructed in the documentation. Save the file.
and then go back to the AES management console to import the generated trusted certificate. Click on import and then on browse. Browse to and select the trusted certificate that you have just edited. In the certificate alias field, provide an alias for the certificate. Note the warning that the new CA trusted certificate can only take effect when the AE services is restarted. Next, click on apply. You should now see your trusted certificate listed under the CA trusted certificates in the AES management console. Next, we will restart AE services. Browse to maintenance, service controller and click on restart AE server. Next, we go to step two of this procedure. On the Add Server Certificate page, create a service certificate request. A certificate request is also referred to as a Certificate Signing Request or CSR. A CSR is used for obtaining a server certificate. To obtain a server certificate for the AES server, you must submit a CSR to a certificate authority such as Microsoft Certificate Services, VeriSign or another certificate authority. Note that you can choose from different certificate aliases depending what you want the certificate to apply to. The alias AE Services refers to the AE services CVLAN, DLG, DMCC and TSAPI. CMTLS refers to CM Transport Layer Security. Web refers to Apache and Tomcat. LDAP refers to LDAP. And Server refers to all. It will include AE Services, Web, and LDAP. Browse to the Service Certificates page and click on Add. Choose the certificate alias you would like this certificate to apply to. Then complete the rest of the fields to your company's requirements. Once you have completed all your configuration, click on Apply. Next, you will receive the Service Certificate Manual Enrollment Request. You need to copy this field and provide it to your Certificate Authority. Since we have direct access to our Certificate Authority, I can take the Certificate Request directly to our CA to request a Certificate. Again, I am following the procedures as documented in the documents provided at the beginning of this video. Paste the certificate request that you have generated on the AES Management Console and then select the certificate template. The certificate template chosen needs to be a template that contains both server authentication as well as client authentication. Click on Submit, then choose Base64 Encoded and download the certificate. Next, go back to the AES Management Console and click on Import. Browse to where the server certificate was saved and then click on Open. Next, click on Apply. Take note of the warning stating that the new server certificate can only take effect when the AE services is restarted. Click on Apply. You should now see your server certificate listed under the Server Certificates page. Next, we will restart AES. Browse to Maintenance, Service Controller and click on Restart AE Services. Once AES is back up, also restart the web server so it can pick up on the new certificate. After you have restarted the web server, you will have to log back into the AES Management Console. On the initial landing page, notice that the warning we received earlier about the default certificates have now disappeared. Now when we look at the certificate details, 
that has been provided to the browser page, you can see that this certificate has been issued to your AES server. Additionally, you can see that the certificate authority has changed. This confirms that web services have picked up on the newly administered certificates. Lastly, you can also browse to security, certificate management, CA trusted certificates, or server certificates, and view details of your newly installed certificates. That concludes this presentation on administering certificates in Avaya Aura Application Enablement Services. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.